Question 3, we have P, Q, R in this question. P is, has two functional groups, okay, hydroxy and the nitrox. Q is, has a carbonyl and R also has a carbonyl. The Q carbonyl is, uh, in the, is for the ketone and this R, the carbonyl is the aldehyde. aldehyde. And we know that this one, it can form cis-trans isomerism. So this is a trans isomer. Okay, now part A. We have a few reagent for the sodium when added to PQR. What happened? Okay, because P is has a hydroxy, means the alcohol here. So it will react with the sodium and form H2 gas. Q cannot react. R also cannot react. So therefore, Q and R no reaction, P you see effervescence. Okay, the second reagent, 2,4-DNPH. Okay, 2,4-DNPH is for the carbonyl groups. Okay, P no carbonyl, so no reaction or no change. Q is, has one carbonyl here. R also has one carbonyl here. That's why Q and R will form orange precipitate with the 2,4-DNPH. Acidified potassium dichromate, so it's the orange solution. And this is an oxidizing agent. So P, okay, already told you that no reaction because this is tertiary alcohol. Q is a ketone, cannot be oxidized. R is has this aldehyde, it can be oxidized. So therefore, R will uh, turns the orange to green color, means it reduce the dichromate to positive 3, chromium positive 3. Okay. okay, means for the Q, cannot be oxidized, no reaction. R, it will turn the orange solution green. Right, the green color is the chromium 3 plus. Okay, part B, Q is reduced by the sodium borohydride. Uh, this is Q. When it's reduced, it just can add two hydrogen. Add one hydrogen here, and add another hydrogen here, then these pi bonds break. You will form this one. So means the reduction of Q, it just need to add two hydrogen. After that, form this C five H twelve O means this one, the secondary alcohol. Okay, C. R exists as a pair of stereo isomers. I told you already just now. R can form cis trans. Just now, that one is a trans isomer, this one. So you have to draw the cis. So you just need to switch the larger group to another side. So you can get the cis isomer. Right? Okay, this is a cis isomer, the two larger group on the same side now. Okay, and of course the type of iso uh, stereoisomerism is geometrical, uh, geometrical. For part D, IR spectrums uh, is uh, for either P, Q, R. From this IR spectrum, we can get two uh, absorptions. Okay, this broad absorptions is for the OH, OH in hydroxy means uh, alcohol okay because it's around 3200 right here and uh, this another absorptions that we can use is this around 2200 so we know that is nitro okay so once we identify that so we we are quite sure this ir spectrum is for the p for the p because the p has these two functional groups Okay, compound P, answer. Okay, explain. The IR spectrum show absorptions at 2200 to 2250. Indicates there is a nitrile or CN triple bond. Furthermore, it shows absorptions at 
3,200 to 3,600 okay, wave number or per cm, which indicates OH bond in hydroxy. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.